fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many in this can understand, uh, this the podcast to show you who I am, uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans, uh, please listen every day to the showcase, the opinions and knowledge that anyone can tell you, showing you how it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes, this is now my time to show you that I am here, uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear, uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many who's here can understand uh, everything pro wrestling, it can never be you, listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in, let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. What's going on, EPW Nation? It's your boys from the Everything College Basketball Podcast, Josh and Peyton, here to remind you all that college basketball season is right around the corner. Yes, we finally know it's right around the corner. And Peyton, there's only one place people should go for all the college basketball excitement. Well, Josh, the only place to find all college basketball hoops all the time is Everything College Basketball. Everything College Basketball can be listened to on several podcast hosting sites like Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. And we can also be found on our Facebook group at Facebook.com slash groups slash Everything College Basketball. Yes, make sure you are joining the group with a, a couple other hundred people and growing by the day as we march into year number three of the Everything College Basketball networking system. Now, let's get back to Conrad and everything pro wrestling. Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by my esteemed colleague, the one, the only, Derek. What up, what up? We're here with a review for AEW Dynamite, March 23rd, 2022. Um... Lots to cover in this show. Should be very, very interesting to uh, get some topics in on this one. Absolutely. Uh, lots of goodness here. Don't forget, guys, that our podcast today is sponsored by Manscaped. If you use our promo code, EPW Show, you can save 20% off and get free delivery on all your Manscaped products. So what are you waiting for? Get, take, get taken care of that below-the-waist grooming. It's a wonderful tool. I recommend the lawnmower, one of the best out there. So make sure you guys get the latest lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped. And we are also brought to you by Little Pro Wrestling, powerslam.tv. Get one free month of independent wrestling when you use our promo code EPW Show. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying everything that we've got lined up for you. And we're going to kick it off with the intro and get into this show of dynamite. Everything pro wrestling. What's going on, everybody? Here to talk about some AEW Dynamite. We got people slowly making their way on in. Love it. Respect it. You guys hear my water moving there in the background. Got to get things situated. So, um, Derek, AEW tonight. I'll save the overall thoughts for the end, but um, what, what's what's been going on with you first and foremost? Like, how how you feeling this week, man? Ah, man, I'm I'm living good right now. Living good. Softball season get ready to start for my daughter. Uh, just found out that uh, she is an eighth grader who will be starting on the varsity softball team. Congratulations. That's what I like to hear. Got to be out here getting that money. Remember, if you ever need an agent, I only take 10%. It's all good. Set up the deal. We can make that happen. Um, getting into this, let's see who is in the live chat with us. Um, and if you're listening on the audio version, always got to shout out the people uh, in the live chat. Uh, we're live on YouTube right now. If you guys ever want to come on over, check it out. Uh, I know we're two away from getting bumped up to our next number goal. So please, if you know someone, tell them to subscribe. Come on. Big pro wrestling fans here. Uh, positively, he said, brada, with brada, the fire. Brada, brada. 
Chad said, what up, Conrad and Derek? Let's go, Mac Jones. Chad, you got to cut this shit out, bro. <laughs> got to cut it out. <laughs> Conrad looks like somebody with their who tells their waiter the food is great and you will be getting a good tip. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, Matt Lopez says, good evening, Conrad and Derek. Good evening. Ray says, yeah. What's yeah. good, Ray? Deanna says, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, brother Dynamite has been eating up other shows since the pay-per-view. Dynamite, Dynamite has been good. It has been good. I watched Regal slapping you to like 10 times this week in the match alone at least four times. They was beating ass. Absolutely. E, I'm going to start that comment. <laughs> if that's what makes you happy, let it make you happy. Absolutely. Uh, Rob's in the house. Rob saying, uh, "Hey yo, for the for the bad guy, still thinking of Scott Hall a lot, man. Been listening to a lot of stuff by him recently. Uh, more Regal Dojo in the show. Team Taz, who? Don't you dare disrespect Hook. Come on now. Uh, Jesse says, "Good evening, fellas. What's up, Jesse? What up? What up? Shout out to the Pro Wrestling Shoot. Show them some love. I got an ad for them. Actually, if you're listening on the audio version of this, uh, there's an ad for them on this week's episode. Also, everything college basketball, giving a shout out to Josh Burton. March Madness is happening, and they got you covered. So everything college basketball, they got a group on Facebook. Go join it. I know you can't be in all the pools and all that, but you can be in the talk, talking some basketball. Go Tigers. Uh, J-Hub in the house. Glad that it's been some good wrestling this week because we have uh, just sucked as far as sports in Atlanta this week. I apologize. I saw I saw the trade. Yeah. You just got to work on that office, bro. I don't yeah, know what they were um, doing, J-Hub. Man, that, that, that was the dumbest move I've seen <laughs> in a minute. In a minute. Yeah, you just threw, they just threw away the – oh, my God. Like, how do you throw that away? Like, he he, was, he did his thing for y'all. Like, I, got I just no- threw him away. I got nothing, bro. Oh, that was the God. debacle of the week, though. <laughs> Wow. Um, Ace saying, you're what up, Derek and Conrad? Ace, yeah. what's good, bro? Ace modding it up in the chat. Also, another mod in the chat. He hasn't been doing his job lately, though, Derek. He hasn't been doing his job. It's my man, Jesus. Delio. De what's good, Jesus? Uh, oh, Jesus is hyped for Rampage. He's talking Rampage already. Let's pump the brakes, bro. We got to talk dynamite a little bit here. Uh, Deanna said, good movement and stories. I will agree. Derek looks like someone who enjoys a grapefruit uh, league game. What? <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be legume or what here, Derek. Uh, grapefruit league? Uh, what is it? That's basketball, ain't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro, but it sounds disrespectful. <laughs> Knock it off. Uh, Jesus said Kyra's about that money, money. Yeah, yeah. That money, money. Yeah, yeah. No stereotypes in pro wrestling, please. Uh, congratulations, Derek. Jesse says, Thank you, thank you. Uh, Azan says, Does Swerve lose his second match? Did he lose a first match? No spoilers. Uh, yo, congrats, Derek. Uh, not too many girls transition from softball to wrestling yet. <laughs> you <laughs> never, <laughs> thank you. I can see Swerve winning it. Jesus says, Thunder Rosa got her first challenger, Queen of the Indies. If you guys aren't going over to Tiff's channel. Indie Wrestling Corner. What are you doing? She's interviewing all the best people in independent pro wrestling. You know Nick Wayne, who just got signed by AEW? She interviewed Nick Wayne before that even happened. Go listen to what she's saying. I'm trying to give you the heads up, people. So make sure you guys give Tiff a subscribe. Indie Wrestling Corner. Absolutely love it. Ray also has an indie podcast, Respect the Craft Podcast. If you want to know like people in the business, who to trust, who to talk to, Ray and Tiff are giving you that. Like, go subscribe to their channels. I'm telling you, we interview indie people over here, but not on the level they do. So, uh, showing them some love. Azan said, "Of course, Nyla Rose, Eric Douglas. Do you think Santana and Ortiz will reunite with LAX? Eric, that remains to be seen. If they might not be coming back, the way Jake Hager was talking tonight, right? Uh, Keith Lee trending all week. Y'all leave my man Keith Lee alone. I'm glad he's got a good sense of humor, though, when it comes to it." Uh, BJ's in the house. Let me <clears throat> let me see if I can do this in my rock voice. Finally, BJ is back to EPW chat. It's been too long, fellas and friends. I hope all has been well. It's been a crazy two weeks. I missed y'all. I didn't do a line. That was just me doing the rock. Uh, <laughs> what's up, BJ? What up? What up? 
Uh, they have heat with LAX, somebody said. Shell, yeah, J-Hub. Gotta love J-Hub. Hook could get them regal slaps, too, coming from the south side. <laughs> Black Blackpool versus Red Hook. We can see it happen. Uh, Brave still straight, even without Freddie. I don't know, bro. <laughs> mm. uh, Tiff's up. Tiff said she didn't get her bridge tonight. She's a big fan of the uh, bridges on the toes. <laughs> uh eric says i think houston pulls out the upset tomorrow Uh oh gotta be honest i didn't watch aw tonight busy catching up on editing the podcast and started playing wwe 2k22 nice nice uh i hope swerve wins the ftw championship cray saying just stop by to say what up what's up cray i appreciate you tis giving me the wink face you the best dj khaled oh my boy nick wayne on his perfect bridge <laughs> Uh, this might have to be one of the hottest starts to AW in a minute. That's saying some of those first 30 minutes were wild. Blackpool combat over Jericho Appreciation Society. Name alone. Yes. 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 Um, Derek, let's get into uh, some of the show. So they started adding in stuff like at the very last minute and it was pretty weird. It was. I don't it know. It, it was so like matchups. We didn't, we, i you see the graphic that's on the front, the thumbnail for this video. Uh, there was only like three matches announced, and I had to add stuff in. But we get CM Punk versus Dax Hardwood to start off the show tonight. Dude, this was an old school wrestling match. I saw some people complaining like that Punk was moving slow and stuff like that. Yo, bullshiggity, dog. <laughs> Yo, like, he, you don't have to, like, go through the match super fast. Like, take nah. your time, bro. Nah. I thought this was really good, this match. This this, this was a good match. Um. But, but we all, we also gotta remember though, like CM Punk is is older, and even though he's been back for a while, you know he's he's still got, as they would say, sea legs, and he, has, he hasn't worked with everybody. I don't even know what that means, bro. Oh, uh, you know, it's still 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 wobbly at times, you know. Man, CM Punk rocked this match, bro. He he did, but this is his first time wrestling like this with someone else that he hasn't wrestled with ever. They came in with the hits, the motherfucking hits, bro. Um, this was really good. I love the transition. CM Punk hit a nice elbow dive off the top rope, as he does. Um, and he transitioned into the Anaconda device. And then Dax found a way to get out of it. CM Punk got to cut that wet hair, bro. You're giving him something to grab. He right, grabs his that. hair, pulls him back. Uh, we got those close near fall attempts. I, Bryce, I caught you now. You almost messed up that count. Right. Um, he, he was in like the perfect position where he was like, do, do I have to move again to check? Right. And, um, th that roll up got real close, man. Had me it worried. Did. It did. Um, we got the sharpshooter attempted. Dax is finally able to lock in the sharpshooter. Looked really good. Um, there were a couple times where I thought Punk was done. Cash Wheeler did a great job of making me believe some near falls by jumping oh, up on the apron. He's like, yeah, two, three, dang it. Come on, come on. They did really good, but eventually Punk locks in the Atacon device for the tap out. I thought it was short, sweet, to the point. Yes. Um, maybe you could have had a little more fire from what happened with the pinnacle stuff with MJF beforehand, but right. I think we're past that kind of. And yeah, that was some coward shit they did, and Punk just beat him up. So yeah, he got his hands on him. I like this match. Though. I thought this was fun. Oh yeah, no, this this was a good match. Um, Again, another way to end a match without actually ending a match with a true finisher. Right? Um, let me see here. We're going to the chat. Nick Wayne and Swerve are in the same company one day. They will cross paths again in the future. Facts. Sonny Bimbo. What's up, Sonny? Sonny! Uh, that ending was great. Chris looking into the camera as the song, What Have I Become? Fantastic. For real. Um, do you see P and P teaming up with Sammy to help with the Dan Lambert issue? I don't, Eric. I think they're gonna stay away from the inner circle stuff. Um, for right now, I don't see them getting back together. Uh, Punk had his grandpa pants on, laugh out loud, good match. He had the we call those the long boys, Deanna. The long boys are on tonight. Uh, in my opinion, I think CM Punk is going for that AEW championship at all out. I agree. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Who, who's the holdover match though? For double or nothing, you can't. I don't think you go Cole again. I feel like Cole's gonna get it before that. He is, um, because I don't think you can really extend that feud too much. It's not, there's not enough beef there yet, you know what I mean? Like, there's no. not enough of an issue, yeah. Uh, I don't know, that's tough, dude. That's that's really tough. I don't know who you could have, but for the holdover match, Tokyo, I ain't even reading that comment. 
You're nasty, though. <laughs> You're nasty. What's up, Tokyo? Uh, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Okay, Azan. I see you, bro. Uh, FTR. So is FTR babyface? Um, th- mm, I would I, say they're middle ground. Yeah, I feel like they're not ready to turn yet, but I think it's been teased that they should be turning eventually. Yes. They dropped Tully. Totally. <laughs> Yo, chill. CM Punk was taking forever on that uh, turnbuckle. Got to make sure you're straight. There was a scary moment on the turnbuckle, which we're about to talk about in a second. Uh, I wish that match was longer. Thought he was going to hit that macho man elbow. That's some wrestling, boy. Uh, Matt Lopez says, I enjoyed that match. Punk slowly getting into the world title picture. Agreed. Adam Cole again, but the Bucks turn on him and cost him. Interesting. Interesting. I like that scenario. It could happen. It could happen. Now, let's go into this next match here. This was Andrade's AFO taking on Mr. Stink, Darby Allen, and the Hardys. Uh, shout out to Sting, by the way. Real Litter Steve is the man. It's dead. <laughs> now, this matchup, bro, was nothing but pure uh, wrong match. <laughs> <laughs> Anarchy and chaos. <laughs> Those watching live, I definitely clicked the wrong match card picture. Um, Sting, Darby Allen, the Hardys versus Private Party in the Butcher and the Motherfucking Blade. <laughs> Yo, in this match, bro, first note I have, I didn't even get into it because I knew it was just going to be chaos. Chaos because Tornado Tag, what's up with these guys? Just say, yeah, F it. Do what you want. Oh, my God. But this wasn't bad, though. I think, yo, <laughs> let's go to the Derek front machine right now. Did you enjoy tonight, Derek? It was good. This but was, but this, was, this, wasn't a, this wasn't a tag team match, though. This is that bullshit. This you see what I'm saying? This wasn't a tag match, bro. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> is there a bullshit meter on my soundboard here? Because if not, I need one. Somebody, Somebody send me the goods. Cause Derek is BSing right now. I'm just saying, bro. It was. It was. So, so wait. I'm gonna ask you this question. Okay. Was it a good multi-man match? Multi-man match. Come on, Derek. You can say something. <laughs> it was a good multi-man match. I mean, to a certain extent. Now vengeance <laughs> is coming for you. He's lying, bro. He enjoyed this match. Bro, it, it was a good match to a certain extent. Y'all know Derry White. Oh, I ain't even getting into this. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't a tag team match, though. You know what I want to do right now? The butcher had Darby Allen and he's swinging him up against barricades. This man threw Darby Allen down concrete stairs in an arena. Oh, <laughs> Why did they do that? This dude, this dude loves punishment, but you know what though? We, I respect Darby for what he does and like it, it <laughs> the dude's crazy. The bro. dude, the dude is crazy, but I, I respect him. You know, it's I, I like more of it. I want more of it. Just be careful, bro. Be careful. Do not get hurt, Darby, doing this stupidity. You don't have to do that stuff. No. But it it also made for a great moment because we're talking about it. It did. Um, we cut over to the concourse. I, I just skip around because shit was happening in this match. Yeah, totally. Um. So, wait a minute. Before the concourse, let's talk about Sting real quick. <laughs> Sting dove off the top rope. Derek <laughs> screamed for this man. Because we thought Sting slipped at first when he jumped off. That man that man was wobbly. Yeah. Stop having Sting do this. Oh the God. moment y'all don't catch Sting, I hope you know Tony's like, yeah, you're done. <laughs> like, that's it. That's you better it. catch Sting every time. He oh. jumped off, bro. Why? How? How did this happen? Bro, oh, my God. I I, th- I think I've never been more scared for a wrestler until tonight. Bro, he fell off, and all I heard was, holy shit. <laughs> Derek had fear in his heart for him, man. Oh, my God, dude. When I seen him, when they showed him getting up to the top of the turnbuckle, and he stumbled a little bit, I was like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh shit! Don't do this, Derek. You went to Catholic school. I know, but fuck. What are you doing? 
<laughs> so we get the, we go over then to the concourse. I don't know how this happened, by the way. Right. It was just fighting commercials, and then Sting and Darby are out there beating up the butcher and blade. Rightfully so. If somebody threw me down the freaking stairs, you're going, you're getting your ass beat. Right. He's putting them on the table, they're punching them. Jeff Hardy. I don't know where he I came from. Where. He's shirtless. He's just yeah, hanging where, around. What are you taking his shirt off? I don't know, dude. There's fans everywhere. Security's holding them back. And Jeff's like, hey, there's a big ladder out here. Yeah, where Why was... is that big ass ladder out there? Where was the ladder at? We need to start talking about what people at these buildings are doing with these dangerous props being left around. It has to be said. Jeff sets up the ladder, and I'm like, oh, he's going to jump off the ladder through the table. Nope. Jeff sets up the ladder to go on top of a ledge that's a big window in Texas. It was bright as hell outside still. I'm jealous. Yo, it, it was <laughs> super bright. <laughs> it looked like it was a nice day to get some water burger. Bro. That's all I know. I've never even ate it before, but it, it I would try it if I was there. I, no, I would try it too. He jumps off, bro. Derek says he better not do a swan time. Literally two seconds later, all I see is, oh, swan time. He's going for it. He lands it, bro, right through. Lands on nothing but boxes. I'm like, this man must have, like, a death wish. He has what to. are you doing? So they're down and out. We cut back into the ring. Private Party are in the ring, and they're fighting, and Sting's back out there. Sting gets put up on the turnbuckle. And I'm like, dude, I know they're not about to hit gin and juice on Sting. They go for gin and juice, and this is where it got sloppy. No, this isn't it, bro. This is not wrong. Sting had to jump off. This is very complicated, in no, my opinion. Not, bro. So Sting should have landed on his feet at 63. <laughs> Derek, yeah. Derek jumping off the second rope at 63. He better not fall once. <laughs> bro, he should have landed that, bro. He was there. Oh, Azan's yelling that I missed the ass, boys. Azan, I will come back to the ass, boys. I will circle back to the ass, I promise you. <laughs> so Sting... After the gin and juice, Sting was supposed to land on his feet and catch him into the Scorpion death drop. That didn't happen. Why? That boy stumbled. Sting's legs were done. Let him rock. He fell down, and I think Sting was deciphering, should I just keep this like it's a submission? Because it looked like a UFC submission. I was like, well, just choke him out, bro. It did. But Sting was like, nah, I got to do the spot because me and Matt are supposed to hit it at the same time. And then Matt eventually recovers, twist of fate. Don't make it complicated. Keep the match simple. It was fine, though, for what they did. They stood back up. We got what we wanted. Private party gets dropped. Double pen. They win. That was it. That was it. It was simple and to the point. Absolutely. Um, We got a promo. I forgot to mention Jericho Appreciation Society promo. It was a basic promo. Following this match, we got an FTR promo on the Ass Boys. Um, Dax looked lost for words, but I like it. This is better than the scripted stuff we get in WWE, I will say. Yes. I, I like. I, I don't care if he got lost in it. He recovered. He got it. He knew where he was again. And I think FTI versus the, the gun club, I think we're supposed to really call them the ass boys. I think it's going to be really good. Those guys in the acclaim have been really impressing people on Dark, and I think yes. they deserve an opportunity. I think so, too. Um, they, they have come a long way with their skills and their, uh, their ring presence. Let, let's let's see what they do on the main stage, on a bigger stage, with a bigger opportunity. Yeah, I think they're going to do just fine. FTR is the perfect team to put them in there with. Absolutely. Now, before we get into the next match, Malik Murray's asking, where's Kenny Omega? Kenny Omega is still hurt. Uh, I'm also hoping he's working on that video game for us. Rubs hands together, because I really, really need that. But, um, yeah, so... Get well, Kenny. Take care of all your injuries. Come back 100%. Don't even try to chance it. You're doing fine. Um, Jeff Hardy went 2000 Jeff Hardy mode. Uh, This eight-man tag was wild. Derek thought the same thing, guys. I love this crazy cluster, Deanna said. Malik Murray said, I think Andrade needs to get away from the HFO. I mean, he's stuck with them. They're the AFO. Now that's the Andrade family office. Right. Uh, he needs something new, like a mafia faction. Maybe we'll get there eventually. I don't know what the plan is for Andrade. They're there to take the L's for him, though. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, Jeff is just happy to be in AEW. Sting must have gotten someone else in 2022's bump card. Derek living the gimmick. Tell him, Rob. <laughs> Hate him. They can't keep trying to have Sting uh, keeping up in these types of matches because that top turnbuckle botch could have been very dangerous. This is very true. 
the Sting knows his body best, man. He's gonna have to tell him, like, hey, I ain't doing that no more. Right. Have that man just jump off the apron then. Right. It'll be fine. So B- Butcher killed Darby. Jeff Hardy on the ladder was awesome. And thank goodness for those boxes under the table. Yeah, that probably softened the blow. Uh they are going fast with this feud. Uh what's the end game? Uh Azan, I think it's gonna be Sting and Darby versus the Hardys. Yeah. I think that's where it's going. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like this will be the makeup match that Jeff owes Sting, if you know the TNA history. One of the worst TNA pay-per-views of all time. Don't make me review it, people. Please don't make me review it when I do my old school reviews, which is another good reason to subscribe to the channel, by the way. Or the audio podcast. Sometimes you get some exclusives on there. I mean, we we, we can review it, bro. No, we can't. <laughs> Matt, and, Matt looked like the oldest man in the uh, whole match. Come on, y'all leave my boy Matt alone. Dad. <laughs> Darby is a uh, bad influence on Sting, laughing my ass off. But Sting, Jack, grown, uh, he jumping off of joints on his own. Dude definitely stumbled, but he's allowed. Have you seen the ish this man has been doing? <laughs> yeah, he's been tripping. He did the new Jack dive somewhere. Uh, I hope throwing people down the stairs is in the AEW game. That would be nice. There's something wrong with y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Yeah, right, I can, right back. Right I can back. hear it now. Did did he know? <laughs> what happened? Do do do. I mean, hardcore wrestling. Jeff Hardy's got something for laddies. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be ladders, but I like that you call them laddies. Uh, Gino Morgan TV, what's up, Gino? Yo, it's been a minute, Gino. Hope things are well, bro. Uh, I enjoy those types of matches for AEW. Ian, yo yo yo, what's up, my brother? How are you doing today? I am good, Ian. I hope you are well. Um, he's chanting AEW in the chat. Uke's mad as hell. People keep jumping off of ledges and throwing people downstairs. Derek, here's your cap. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot it, right? Uh, them boxes full of them hard ass killed in shirts <laughs> that ain't soft and nothing. Rip Jeff. <laughs> yeah, y'all too much, man. Y'all too much tonight. Um, moving forward, let's talk about the varsity blondes versus Brian Danielson and Jan. <laughs> Wow, dang, 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 dang. This was the match that I accidentally put up before, but here it is. Um, Derek, we got a lot going on here. The Varsity Blondes, this group looks, and I don't mean this in a uh, a bad way, they look disheveled, bro. Like, I don't know what's happening with these dudes. Like, the the shit is jacked, bro. (sighs) Well, between. Hillman and Garrison, I want to say like they're starting to grow apart. Grow apart only because of the situations that happen. Not even that. Let me speak on it. Julia, what the fuck are you doing sitting on the stairs this whole match? Pillman and Griff, you better chickity check that, bro. Right, yeah, definitely. Like yeah, get her, get her. On point. I don't trust her. I feel like something's going to happen with her. Oh, yeah. I don't know what or where she's going. Don't trust her. That's all I'm saying. Uh, dude, this match, they got some offense in, but really, for the most part, they got dominated by Danielson yeah. and Moxley. Yeah, th- th- this was just like an all-out, okay, I'm just going to dog walk you real quick. <laughs> That's Brian's whole <laughs> gimmick against people who we shouldn't be in there with. Bro. Not people we shouldn't be in there with. Let me not say that. People who Brian, sh- who Brian should dog walk, he's been dog walking. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to stomp you really bad. Right, basically. And he looks like he enjoys it. And Moxley did, too. They were chopping hard in this match, bro. Woo! Regal's on commentary. I I don't know, man. This this was money. Like I said, uh, double submission in the end. Griff Garrison gets the bulldog choke. Danielson's got the LaBelle lock on Pillman. They're just, it was done, bro. Yeah. This, this was ass whooping. The, the, this was uh, how you like your pancakes. <laughs> Well done or burnt. <laughs> what? I don't even know what that means, bro. <sighs> Dude, so I mean, they caught the smoke and got burnt. They didn't have the they didn't have the nice looking pancakes. They got the black pancakes. Speaking of black, we find out the new name of this tag team, Derek. Blackpool Combat Club. What do you think of that name? You know, I, I like it. For some reason, it reminds me of um, Fight Club. I like it a lot. I don't know why I wanted to say that. <laughs> I was just thinking that. 
I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> you know what movie that's from? You're uh, you're all right with me. <laughs> um, let's see here. Man, we got people going in in the comments here. Uh, Malik Murray said, favorite hardcore match in AEW. I'm assuming he was saying that about the last match. Um, let me see here. Julia Hart is joining House of Black, Cray says. I could see that. I would like that. Let Julia do the dye job to the hair. Go all black hair. I- I'd be down with it. You got you to gotta do something with her. I thought... House of Black could have Abaddon and the Butcher and the Blade, bro. That would have been way better. I don't know if they can do it now, though, because I feel like they're a trio right now, and they're Malachi's been reverted out of tag team action, if that makes any sense. Or not tag team. He's been reverted out of singles for right now. Yes. Um, and I think he's really good. Like you, but he, I, he is, but I, I think I think you can still save it because you can have um you can you can treat this like um knights of the round table. Thank goodness. I thought you were going brood with this. No, no. <laughs> I know Derek's a brood fan. I am. I am. But no, no, no. You can go like Knights around table with this. What you, do you you can still add like um uh dude, what, was, what was the king's name? Um Arthur? Yeah, King Arthur <laughs> and, and the Knights of the Round Table. So Malachi Black would be King Arthur, and the rest of them would be Knights of the Round Table. So you can still add people to the House of Black because it really doesn't really state. How many people are in the House of Black? Right. And I, I just don't want it to be where there's two tag teams. Because I feel like Butcher and Blade have been stuck with that. Like, it's not fair to them to always be with, like, oh, they're with Private Party. Oh, they're with yes. the Lucha Bros. Remember that with Kingston for a while. Yes. These guys need to find a way to get out on their own. And I thought they could have fit. But now I feel like, nah, don't do that with them. I think they still could. But bro. I think you do need a female now in the group. You and do. then do you go with Julia or Abaddon? See, I think Abaddon would fit. Abaddon would fit. And you could change that zombie character. Yes, like you, you can mold that and 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 rebrand that and still keep Abaddon the way that she is with uh, the um, veracity that she has. You can keep that, but still bring it back, you know, scale it back and be like, all right, well, we're, we're, we kind of we kind of molded you back to where we needed you to be. Right, uh, Deanna said Julia looked like a spoiled schoolgirl. She looked like she got put in timeout. Uh, Varsity mid, somebody said. Come on now, Mox and Danielson uh, whooping some ass fire. I think the Varsity blondes need a new gimmick, dude. Malik, I'm kind of with you on that. I never have liked like the whole wearing college thing. Like it won't stick around too long, but it's getting them on TV here and there. I'd like to see more of Griff Garrison and Pillman. I, I, I would definitely rebrand them. If you're going to keep them together. See, like, I think them and the ass boys could be a good feud. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You could do something with that. Uh, Julia Hart's thinking about sunshines and rainbows as the blondes get their asses kicked. <laughs> Reading rainbow. <laughs> I just thought of that TikTok. <laughs> EPW show on TikTok. Follow me on all social media at EPW show. Uh, I like the name Blackpool Combat Club. Could they be AEW Suzuki Goon? For sure, BJ. For sure. ZSJ would be proud. Split up the blondes, please, Deanna says. Brian and Mox are an insane team. We call that a molly whopping. <laughs> that we do call it that in Buffalo as well. Yep. Uh, this story with her is not engaging at all anymore. You could tell Garrison and Pillman don't really F with each other like that. Uh, Julia Hart is getting ready to turn. Rob, I think that's why they're splitting them up, though. Like You're starting to be able to see the cracks amongst all of them, and it's like, yeah, this isn't working as, as the way we thought it would. But I told you that was a short-term gimmick, though. Like, no yeah. one's staying together with that. Did anyone else notice Julia Hart was sitting on the steps as Moxley did his promo? Yes. Yes. Very creepy. Maybe she's trying to get in the group. Who knows? Moxley and Danielson reminded me of the two-man power trip. Yeah, this is going to be like an unstoppable tag team until something happens to break them up. Um, Let me see. Whoever tag team is getting beat, Jack, Rock, favorite, two of them. Yeah, they're getting smashed, whoever uh, is facing them, Malik. Uh, they got princed from Chappelle's show. How do you like your pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> Julie Hart will turn heel soon. House of Black uh, will be the inaugural trios champs. I don't know about that, Rob. There's a lot of good choices when they bring those trios belts out. No. Stop <sighs> hating. No. Thicky Don, <laughs> Gino Morgan said. Uh, they might be doing the Luna Vachon story. Black spit in her eye. Now she's slowly changing like Luna did. Cray's a wrestling historian. I like you, Cray. You stick around in here. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Cray. Uh, that's the Regal Dojo. 
Julia would be like, I helped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Good stuff. Uh, What's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Carter over at the Pro Wrestling Shoot Podcast. And every Monday, we release new podcast episodes over on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Along with me, usually, is James Pinard Jr., my co host. Over on our show, you can catch original segments where our show is actually put together like a show. No, we don't just press play and start recording. We put some deep thought into our shows with our original segments. And right now, we are currently doing our What If series. Come and check that out, as well as every Tuesday on YouTube, we are doing live streams, and if we're not live streaming, we're posting videos with some good content on it. What can you expect from our podcast? Well, they say controversy creates cash. Maybe come and check it out and find out for yourself. Most of our episodes are can't miss. We try to give you the best entertainment possible. Come and check it out. Join our live chats on Tuesdays over on YouTube. Follow us on YouTube at the Pro Wrestling Shoot. Also, you guys can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok at the Pro Wrestling Shoot and on Twitter at TPWS Podcast. Once again, come and follow us on all of our social media accounts where we stay active every single day. And also, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hop in our live chats. We'd love to hear your thoughts on anything related to professional wrestling. Um, do you love me? Uh, <laughs> yo, peace, bro. Peace. Uh, speaking of love, you know who we don't love? Maxwell Jacob Friedman. This guy. Top quality D-bag. So MJF comes out and he's speaking on punk. This man threatens to urinate on CM Punk's grave. He also then began to call Wardlow a pig. Absolutely oh. disgusting. He made a reference to Jesus during this, which I will not repeat. He MJF was on fire. He basically said that you signed a deal with the devil, Wardlow. And I own you. I have you. He's basically the million dollar man to Wardlow's Virgil right now. Basically. And he said that he's going to make Wardlow sit at home until people forget about him. Genius. Genius. And he confirmed that the Pinnacle are still together with Sean Spears. Why does Sean Spears not wear a shirt? This is getting heat from me, bro. Like, what are we doing, Sean? Yeah. Uh, Heel heat, brother. Right. Yeah. I, I, I kind of wondered the same thing. Like, yo, it's been ever since he came back, he has not had a shirt on. At least that I can remember. I'm like, how's this dude got a custom chair, but he can't afford a shirt? Somebody help him. Fix the wardrobe. But he looked great with MJF. He played his role perfectly as the sidekick. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about that. Loud ring. Um, Don't know who this is calling me, but you're definitely uh, banned. At 1040 at night. What are you thinking here, bro? What are you doing? I'm running a show, bro. What are you doing right now? Come on, bro. Um, apologize about that, the, the loud gimmick noise. I don't know if I can edit that out. We'll see. Um, so Wartlow gets pretty pissed off. Yo, how many security dudes do you think were out there to grab him? Uh, so there had to be one, carry the two. Like so 20. Were, so <laughs> it was like were, 20. So there were four out. Uh, no, I said it wasn't four or five. Maybe five. In the in the in the front, so maybe about 10, 10, 11. 10, there, 11. there was a lot of them out there to hold yeah. Wardlow back. I like that though. That made Wardlow look like a beast. Yeah, had the the sleeves unbuttoned. I didn't like that he called him pig, man. MJF, I hate you. You're doing a good job, but I hate you. You're a scumbag. So I respect it. Why do you always say that? <laughs> you can't respect that, Derek. <laughs> He confirmed that FTR is still in the pinnacle, so that makes you wonder. People were bringing it up: Are they still heels? Are they not? It, yeah. Um. Even, even after they uh, got rid of Tolu, uh, <laughs> Tolu. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> uh, no, bro. Um, definitely, I, I definitely think um, there is miscommunication. Or, well, not miscommunication. MJF is trying to throw a little misdirection. Because we saw what happened a while back where the uh, FTR got rid of Tully. 
So, I mean, technically, to me, that I mean, means... I think they're still with him. I think, that, like I said, I think FTR are going to do something over the top to where it's like, okay, now they're baby faces confirmed. Right. And and they, they've been kind of on their own for a while now. So, mm-hmm. I think that's what's happening. Ace said trios for life. Respect, Ace. MJF hit Wardlow with that no compete clause. Facts. That, that's some great heat, man. MJF stay referencing Cornette. Hundred percent. I'm not buying those little guys holding Wardlow back. <laughs> too many, man. MJF almost took it too far. Yeah, but that that's what a good heel does. Sometimes they get you riled up. He's WWE and Wardlow is Ali. BJ, BJ. I gotta now. I gotta find something in here for that. I I don't know what we want to hit, man. <laughs> that's that's just wrong, man. I can't even find anything. It's just not right. Ring ring the bell. Ring the bell. Damn it. I, I, I'm tapping out on that. Well, come on now. Uh, MJF is TK and Wardlow is Brian Cage. <laughs> Brian Cage is still signed right now. Cops need to show up. Free Ali. Free Ali. Let that man do what he's got to do, man. Um, Getting into this. Best friends, Derek. Best friends. Yuda. Yuda, Trent and Yuda kind of get into it. Trent has never liked Wheeler Yuda if you don't watch anything the best friends do. And, yeah, the best friends were not happy for once. It was kind of weird. And he was like, I never liked him. And he was like, I'm trying to become the best wrestler and not a best friend. And Wheeler Yuda kind of stuck it to them. So I think we're getting a Trent-Wheeler Yuda match coming up. That would be dope. I would like to see that. The best friends are like on IR. I don't know if you guys know this, but everybody in the best friends is hurt. Dan Housen's hurt. Uh, we got Orange Cassidy still hurt. Uh, they can't catch a break right now. No. And Chris Statlander kind of is on her own doing her own thing. Yeah, she's uh, she's uh, she's gone rogue. So best friends kind of falling apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not bad though. No, the uh, the turn will happen when they defend Bret Hart from MJF's verbal assault. Rob says, uh, "You the man had to be said." <laughs> uh, Trent is a I won't repeat that word. Uh, a Richard in this situation. <laughs> Jocelyn says, evening, Conrad and Derek. What's going on, Jocelyn? No, oh. no, no, no. No freebies tonight, all right? Yeah. We can't We can't just be giving it away. You're right. Ricky. Derek, we do this every single week to where you just interrupt. Spanish. I set myself up every week. I Boom! Set, I set myself up for this. Uh, Yuda meets Regal one time and his sack drops. <laughs> and Chuck's hurt. <laughs> Somebody said. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, that was the laugh we needed of the night. Oh, man. Let's get into this next matchup. This is a Ring of Honor special. I The last time I remember seeing these guys face off was in 2016. Me and Matt Lopez were in the DMs talking about this one today. This matchup was uh, the buzz. I thought – so when I thought the eight-man tag was going to main event, I, then I thought this would have main evented. Nope. We were wrong about both, Derek. Absolutely. Jay Lethal versus Adam Cole. Baby. Dude, this was a wrestling match. This was Ring of Honor uh, back in the day, man. Adam Cole hits a super kick to the back of Jay Lethal's head when he went for the lethal injection, mm-hmm. right to that dome piece. If you got a bald head, you got to be careful, man. You bleed easy. <laughs> I don't know why. As soon as you turn bald, just blood. Because <laughs> people ain't aiming for that hair no more. They just they just aiming for your bald head where the veins are. Right. Um. After that, he hits the Panama Sunrise. Why can't people win with destroyers in this company? It's a great move. Bro, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, it's just the perfect setup move. It's not, though. It's a great I, finish. Listen, I know, bro. No, 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 no. We can't catch a break. We can't catch a break. Um, so oh, after, after this happens, uh, two count for the Panama sunrise, hard to believe Jay Ooh. lethal hits an O'Connor roll, but the ref is distracted by fish and O'Reilly. And after that happens, um, they're distracted. 
eventually Jay Lethal gets up, goes for the lethal injection again. Low blow by Adam Cole. That's sick, sick son of a bitch. He hits the boom, a.k.a. Shining Wizard. And it's Dunzo from there. One, two, three. He picks up the way. I thought this was a good showing for Jay Lethal. It was. It was definitely a good showing for Jay Lethal. It, and it brought back like a, a classic feel to it. Classic energy to it. That ROH vibe. Exactly. So, you know, when ROH opens up, officially, hopefully we can get that. Well, Tony said they're having that bridge show next week. So we're doing, we'll get into our mania stuff at the end. Because I'm going to tell you kind of what we're going to plan on covering. Or at least what we're going to try to. Um, So this all happens, right? And following that, uh, Shining Wizard to the back of the head. Tony Khan has said that Ring of Honor, this show is going to be happening with Rampage. He's competing with himself, which he said he wouldn't have done. But... Fans already bought tickets. Fans are interested in it. I'm doing the show still. So he's going to try and honor both shows. Warner Media seems to be cool with it. Let that play into what could be happening because they would probably want to see, is this a property we want on our television network? Right. Even if it's not here, it might be on True TV, whatever else they own. I don't know what other networks they own. They own everything. So (laughs) we're going to have to wait and see what happens with it, Derek. But Tony said this is like the transition show from the old Ring of Honor into the new. Mm. Where okay. we go from there right. remains to be seen. We'll talk about that um, probably in a Q&A or some other time when we get into the Tony Khan Ring of Honor stuff. But it should be interesting. Let's go into the chat because we got a bunch of comments in here. Let me see. B-Boy Skyline jumping in on the Ricky Spanish. Don't let Jocelyn find out. Uh, you are so PG. <laughs> LOL, just kidding. <laughs> got to be PG, Gino. Can't get in trouble, man. We're on live. We're live, pal. Uh, only when I show up, you know this, Jocelyn said. Aunt won't stop. What up, Aunt? Yo, Aunt. Aunt, look what's right next to me, bro. I got a bunch of the stickers, bro. The Aunt won't stop stickers right here, bro. I got them all from you, bro. Look at Look. Just sit right here. I need a laptop, though, to put them on. Send me some money, bro. Send me, send me that <laughs> laptop next. Uh, but what's good? Aunt, Aunt has done some of the pay-per-view songs that you've heard on the podcast, so show him some love. Uh, Jesus said match of the night for me. Jesus was feeling the, the Jay Lethal Adam Cole match. Honestly, Matt Lopez Lethal and Cole was a banger. Oh, Jocelyn knows Ant too. Okay, got Ant in the building for real. Uh, he's been on the show too before. If you guys haven't seen him, he's been on some of the round tables. Uh, Adam Cole, the man who made uh, Jay Blade. <laughs> uh, Dustin should win it. Um, oh, yeah, we're, we'll get into that match next too. Uh, the the night of super kicks was epic <laughs> tonight for ROH. Have you heard the Vince story with PD Williams? I have not, BJ. You're gonna have to send me that story because I definitely want to hear it. I'm calling it now. Page versus Cole at Battle of the Belts. I agree. I think it's gonna be a a Randy or um bull rope match. I feel like they're gonna do something because that belt played a kind of part into it. Maybe maybe it's a strap match. I don't know, but I feel like we're gonna get one of those. It has to be, you know. It, it, can't do it that way and then it's not what we thought it should be gino says uh pile driver should be the end of the match in my opinion i agree those are other moves that should just be it is it just me or was this the brit breaker special in an adam cole match i think they wrestle very similar kind of it, it was good though i didn't have a problem with it uh jay's heading back to roh i wouldn't be mad if he did uh i'm i'm stone ko austin <laughs> And throwing up some stuff. Uh, the dream for how ROH, SCOH ends, uh, Gresham and Danielson face off. Oh, Supercard of Honor, excuse me. Yes, yes, that would be magnificent. I would love it. Um, getting into the next matchup, or not the next matchup, we had a promo with Dustin Rhodes versus Lance Archer. They were kind of talking some good crap to each other. Dustin had some good lines in this promo. Like, oh, absolutely. Go out of your way just to see what Dustin does. Archer appears to still be with American Top Team. I don't know what happened to Jake or what's going on with that, but okay. Right. Okay. Um, then we get a segment, Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti. Spanish God. You got to include Ty some way now into this. <laughs> My Ty. <laughs> That's just not appropriate. <laughs> um Dan Lambert and Scorpio Sky come out with the bells. I hate Dan Lambert with that other title. He is a heel, bro. I just don't like him. 
I'm like, why are you being like this? Uh, Dan Lambert comes out and it just ruins ruins the moment and everything with it. Um, he called Ty some very bad names. I don't know nope. if I should even repeat them. Nope. Uh, it rhymes with Luchasaurus, but there's a W in there. I'll let you figure that out. Right. And uh, well, I, it doesn't even rhyme with Luchasaurus. It sounds exactly like Luchasaurus, but there's a W in there. Um. They they had jokes for days about them and it's not, I don't know if Sammy's getting that match. They dog Paige Van Zant for her MMA career, rightfully so. Right. And um, I, yeah, dude, this is this should be very interesting. You know, as soon as they say the word bitch, it's on. Right. It's bitch. On. <laughs> um, I don't know where this is gonna go from here. Dan Lambert kissed the belt, and Sammy kind of had a line at the end, like we don't want to know what we did on that title, and it just reminded me of the whole. Previous controversies with the sex capades, I'll just call it with the belts. Please don't be doing that to them titles. Please. People people put those on their shoulders at your signings. Right. <laughs> Noted. Um, and we find out that Shane Swerve Strickland uh versus Ricky Starks for the FTW championship on Rampage. I'm with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm with it. Uh BJ said Vince likes Petey as an agent, but wants everyone now to refer to him as Pete or Peter. No joke. So, because of the destroyers and this story, poor Peter Williams. <laughs> Sammy and Ty turned heel tonight, as far as I'm concerned. I, I, dude, there's some heat for me too. Like, it's just the I don't want to see this. Uh, give Sammy his cue cards back. I would like that. Dan Lambert reminds me of the Walmart version of Paul Heyman or Jim Cornette. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Wally World. <laughs> Mixed tag match, it looks like. Yeah, I can see that. Brad Maddox Fuego. E, knock it off. <laughs> I'm telling him right now. Knock it off. Inappropriate. <laughs> Very inappropriate. I'll, I'll ring the bell. Cut it out, all I right? I respect it. The disrespect to the championship, how dare you. Ty and Sammy cute, though, he says. Um, next up. We have another match. I, I don't know if it's just me, Derek, but I feel like we've seen this match a lot lately. Yeah. Chris Statlander is banned from ringside if you were wondering where she was throughout this, but we get Red Velvet versus legit Layla Hirsch. Uh, Derek, what'd you think of this match, bro? Um, It wasn't bad. It wasn't that good either. I, I think this was a match that was thrown together at the very last minute. And I felt like since... Uh, how do I say this? I, I, I guess I feel like since they thought they're, uh, I, I can't even say it that way. It, it it just didn't hit the way I wanted it to. It didn't hit different for you? Nah. Uh, the match was a little bit rough in some parts of it. Like I noticed like Red Velvet started missing some stuff and then it seemed like she was off a little bit for a second. Yeah. Like, oh, everything's not right right now. Right. And I think that's the main thing that, they did fine. Like I, I hope someone shows this to Red Velvet. You did fine. Like well, don't exactly. don't don't freak out. Like during the match, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like once a mistake happens, it's done. Like we're moving on from it. I don't care. Right. Let's go to the next spot or let's improvise and do this. Right. Exactly. Um. That that's what I'd like to see more of. Don't don't worry about spots. That doesn't whatever it happens. Mm-hmm. Um. But I thought they did a good job recovering in the end. Layla Hirsch uses the smart bad guy brain. Bad girl brain, I should say. And uh, she grabs a piece of metal from under the ring, but she stuffs one in the back of the pants and then comes into the ring. Hey, 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 you can't bring that in. Give me that. Right. And as soon as he takes it, pull out the one from the back of the pants. Dunk. One, two, three. Get the W. We're out of here. But Layla Hirsch is me. So she says, you know, I'm going to break her arm. She gets her in an arm bar. And here comes Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander booked it to the ring, by the way. That she did. She, she was on a mission. She said, greetings, Earthlings, and just went to work. The Claw. The Claw will decide who will go and who will stay. stay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No more Toy Story for me. I can quote that movie because of my brother. Um, So, (laughs) shout out to Cam. And, uh, yeah, dude, that that was the match. Statlander runs down. I don't really see anything new about Chris Statlander, except for the makeup's a little less, but... Whatever. I, I want to see this get a big match. I want to see this get a big blow-off match. You know, I, I think it will. If they do it correctly, I think it will. Yeah. But you have to hope and pray, though, that they're paying attention to what 
success they had per se the night before versus what they what they got going on now. Right. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And if you guys are in the chat, I haven't mentioned this yet, but don't forget to hit that like button. Give us a like spike if you could. Um, next up, we got Jay Cargill's promo. She is getting ready to go 30 and 0. And she is she is planning her celebration already. She wants limo. She wants green this, that. She wants it all. And Smart Mark Sterling is there, ready to provide. Yep. Now, for Rampage. So here's what we got coming up for Rampage. Dustin Rhodes versus Lance Archer. 10 and 5 Allen Angels versus Red Dragon. Nyla Rose will be in action. And QT Marshall will issue a certificate of accomplishment to Hook, one of his top students. And the FTW champion, Ricky Starks, will face off against Swerve Strickland. Wonderful. I like that card. Sounds like a good card to me. And it's not going to be on at 1130 at night because last week was rough. I was struggling to watch that. Um, Next week on Dynamite, though, we do know we're going to have Darby Allen versus Andrade. Come back here. We will review it. We'll be talking about the show. And we're also going to have FTR versus the Gun Club. Signed, sealed, and delivered. So they're ready to go. Um, AEW Women's Champion, Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa comes out and... A lot is going on here. Thunder Rose is getting prepared to be interviewed, and we get, excuse me, from Vicky Guerrero. Vicky Guerrero comes out to interrupt, blah, 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 and then Thunder Rose is just talking to her. The shit talking never ends, and then you know what happens. Surprise, motherfucker. It's Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose comes from behind. Surprise, bitch. And (laughs) knocks down Thunder Rosa. Puts a beat in on her. So it looks like Nyla Rose is going to be the next person in here. And I kind of like this. Yes. Um, I'm feeling this feud already. Like, But, but you know what, though? I, I feel like they've had a good feud before. They haven't really wrestled each other, at least that I can think of, unless it was on, like, Dark Elevation or I right. missed it. But right. I think this will be a, a nice difference for them oh, like, yeah. just to I, get I in there and do something really different. different. Um, so I can't wait to see what happens with that feud. Nyla was like loving that title as soon as they unveiled it, too. So very interesting how they did that. Um, so is Statlander just an evil alien now? Good question. No clue. Uh the rampage match was uh better between oh, I think Red Velvet and yeah, yeah, they they were in a tough spot. Oh, yeah. Uh tough Cray spot. says I do not like Layla Hurst, she is bland. Uh, man, you call the trios matches sloppy, but give this one a pass. I think that's that you, Derek. <laughs> Get him, Rob. Get him. Uh, need my two scoops of Deeb. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I love Serena Deeb. It's all about the ranks of Serena Deeb is number one contender right now. Let it happen. I'm with it. Double or nothing, yes. Serena Deeb, Thunder Rosa? Bro. Bro. Yeah. I'm with it. That would be dope. And, and you better give that match some good time and a good spot. Yes, you have to in order for it to work, in order for people to enjoy it. Uh, Rob says exactly. He put Deeb on my screen every week. I say Deeb versus Rosa double or nothing. Azan agrees. Malik says the problem I have the women's division. Uh, wait, I have with the women's division. Women need gimmicks in that division. I mean, they got gimmicks already. I don't know. I think they're fine. I think they just need to tighten up the wrestling a little bit. Yeah. Um, For some, and, there, and there's people who are just not used to television yet on there. You're, right. you're learning as you go. Right. I think they're fine. Pick up women who are good when they become available. Leave it at that. Uh, Matt Lopez says he loves Chris's new look. Hirsch doesn't look intimidating to me. I've heard other people say that. Hi, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Ah, ha. Ah, ha. Give me, Give me that. that. <laughs> See, VJ, I know it, bro. I. My brother, man, too many times. I know that movie forward and backward. Uh, she has a blue streak in her hair, and it's looking good in the black attire. Jade is a hit in 30, and oh, Matt Lopez says. You agree with that, Derek? Uh, who's her next matchup? They didn't say. It's just yeah, for the- you know what? I, I I think they give it the milestone, uh, 50. Oh shit! You think she goes fifty and zero? You tripping, bro? That's a lot of doves. That's twenty more wins. She's she's a big girl. All right. She's 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 a muscular woman, bro. All right. I'll let I, it I, I say complete dominance. <laughs> the five and dimes right again. I haven't heard anybody refer to the Dark Order members as that. The champ does what she wants. 
Darby Andrade is going to be a banger. Agreed, Jesus. That's got to be the main event, I'm guessing, next week, unless they have a bigger match plan. Jade is a peach, Chad says. Nyla Rose, the last we saw, she was uh, beating Ruby Soho at Too Dark. Uh, they had a three-way with Jade, Thunder Rosa, and Nyla. Yes, they did. You yes. were right. Okay. Uh, that new title looks better than a, in a thick peach. F yeah, Rob. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get into the – it's time for the main event, which was – the Jericho Appreciation Society, Chris Jericho and Daniel Garcia versus John Silver and Alex Reynolds. Derek, you watched more of this match than me because uh, I had stuff to do. So give me give me your takes on this one, man. What do you think? Uh, okay, so so this match, it, it, was, it was a good match. I will say that. It was a good match. Um, but I also felt like it wasn't a match that lived up to its caliber like it should have. Um, hmm, that that's harsh. I think a little. It was a it's a television match. It, this wasn't yes. their feud. I, I let, let's say this then. I would not have picked this match to be the main event. Yeah, I thought we were gonna get something a little bit more for the main event. Yes. Like I said, this card structure was really weird. I thought we were gonna get maybe Jay Lethal. Honestly, I would have put the uh Jeff Hardy match. That's probably my match of the night. I would have put yeah. that on last. Yeah, I would let them I go crazy. That. Yeah, I would have done that just to close it out. Just just because because you you already know probably half the crowd is probably dying out a little bit there. So pick it up, pick the um the energy back up. I would have done that match for the for the main event. Yeah, and like I said, when some of these guys don't get reps on TV too, sometimes it's hard to like line up your moves. Like we said with Daniel Garcia, there was like a piece of the yeah. when they hit like seven different tag moves into one another yeah. that got stopped. Jericho grabs the bat on the outside and gives Alex Reynolds a shot in the back with it. This leads to Daniel Garcia putting in his modified sharpshooter tap out for the W. Garcia looked like a million bucks. Jericho like let him take all the shine. He was like, "It's yours, bro. Take it. Do what you got to do with it." Eh? Passing of the torch. No, I I just think Jericho lets people shine, man. When they need to, he was like, "Go ahead, do your thing, man." Right. No, I you know I'm just trying to give you know give him benefit of the doubt. I, I think that um, maybe that's the end game though. Maybe Garcia is the one that stands out. Yeah, I mean Hager looked good here. I thought Hager even sounded great tonight. Like he, he sounded did. comfortable. He did. He did. Did and two point oh. Them dude, just loud and obnoxious. I love them, though. You want a taste? Right. <laughs> uh, funny dudes, man. But, Derek, what do you think of tonight's show overall? Chat, let me know what you thought of tonight's show before we get on out of here, and then we'll let you know what we're doing for uh, next week, WrestleMania week. Uh, not not the best, but it was, it, was, it was a decent show. It was a decent show. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Uh, man, this might have been one of Jericho's worst matches in AEW. Also, push John Silver. He's like AEW's mini Cesaro to me. I would have had Cole versus Lethal last, Matt Lopez says. He's also super funny. Uh, Reynolds and Silver deserve better. I, I, I think this is where that ROH stuff is going to come into play, though. I really think... I don't know if you can do it where it's just developmental, but I think you could take a lot of guys and put them down there just to kind of say like, "Hey, listen, we're gonna get you in this time when you're ready, and then we'll bring you up right. when we when it's when we're ready to do it." So should be interesting. Uh, Cray says, "I'm thinking about Alex Reynolds uh, is going to be the breakout star of the Dark Order." Really interesting. I see. I think it could be Silver. Uh, but I also see 10, Preston Vance is being someone, too, who could oh, yeah, be the breakout absolutely. star. But I like Angels. Alan Angels doesn't get enough play, I feel. These are guys, though, who I think could go to ROH. Absolutely. Uh, tag match was good to see Garcia versus Silver soon. That would be a good one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, Deanna says seven. Good. Uh, Jesus is giving it the, the thumbs up. Did you say what you were giving it? What's seven? Seven and a half. Yeah, I'm with Rob. Seven and a half out of ten. That is a fair score for tonight. Best dynamite? No. Worse? No. no. Mid mid range. Yeah. It was good. It, it was fun. Like I said, when the two hours just go, and you're like, dang, I already got to do the review. Right. That's how I know it was a good night, and that's how I felt tonight. Absolutely. Um, let me see. B BJ Dynamite was a seven point eight for me tonight. Last hour slump compared to the first. EPW is a ten. Glad to be back with y'all. Like I said, BJ, hit me up, bro. We got to get you on for one of these specials, man. 
We'll invite you on. Yuta would be good in ROH. I think so. Yeah. These are some of the names you could – You. what I'm saying is, guys, start thinking in your head, who would you shuffle down there that it's like, you're good, but you need some seasoning, and we can yeah. put you down there and let you shine. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be people that you just have to pick up and say, listen, I need you to go down there to help these guys too. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm wondering that's a place maybe for uh, Cesaro. Maybe that's a place for – and I hope Tony Khan gets help with running this. You're going to get overwhelmed, bro. You can't do the Jaguars, your football team, the, the soccer team I'm referring to, yeah. across the pond. You can't You can't do all that, man. No. You're going to go crazy. You're, you're going to have to delegate uh, somebody to do – I like that. Good word. You have to delegate that. It, it, it needs to happen. Get Derek a delegation shirt if you guys want that. We'll see if that keeps coming up. Uh, Chad says he gave it 8 out of 10. Great show, Connor and Derek podcast, 10 out of 10. Uh, Chris went to go get her UFO to take Layla away. Uh, what y'all think about Trey Miguel saying impact wrestlers aren't able to step through the forbidden door earlier today? Okay. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. Why, why not? Right. What, what are you trying to do? I mean – he can't book everybody, but if the time is right and it permits, let it happen. Right. Uh, e says thumbs up show. Gino says Brian Cage and ROH. I agree. I think you can even have him be one of the top world title contenders over there. Right. Uh, Joe Regal Gresham going to help him in the RO in ROH. I bet. Yeah, I would have that. I think Cesaro is going to show up over there too. Cesaro would be who I would sign and say I need you over here. Um, he'd be someone I consider even bringing in to be champ. Tony is going to need some help. Get Regal, Sanjay Dutt, help run ROH. Uh, they need to bring Jay White back again. They have been in New Japan Pro Wrestling, so how is that not stepping through? Yeah, I, unless he was talking about a specific company. Like I said, I don't know. I don't even want to get into the ticky tack bullshit when it comes to that stuff. But listen, you guys know every week we're live for uh, Dynamite. We'll be live again next week for sure. Um, going through that Thursday. That is when I'm going to be recording my WrestleMania preview. Right now, I know it's going to be Sean Hubbard from Hubbard Wrestling Weekly on. Derek will be here for the review of the WrestleMania shows. Sean will do that show with me on Thursday. So Dynamite Wednesday, pre-show Thursday. Friday, I need to take a breather, y'all. Yeah. I can't do Hall of Fame and SmackDown. I can't do both. And then we got Supercard. Too much has happened in that night. So yeah. that night, I'm going to have to try to take, recover. If you guys have questions, though, during WrestleMania night one, I will try to answer those. I may even try to go live during the day and just answer some questions uh, freely. Just like, hey, what'd you think of this match? What'd you think of that? We'll see what we could do for that when it comes to it. Um, other than that, Derek, we're going to do night one and night two of Mania. <sighs> Raw after, bro. Are we doing it? Raw after Mania hasn't been good in a while. I swear to you. I, I, I swear. I'm going to let him just go off if it's bad, though. Like, Derek is just going to go off. Check our Hell in the Cell review with uh, Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins. We all just went off. I don't want to be miserable to you guys. I don't want you to think, oh, this dude's just yelling at his TV. I'm I'm peaceful when, when I enjoy it, when it's dynamite, when it's impact. Right. WWE just, mm, they just make me mad because they don't do simple things that could make it better. Right. I, I, I say I say we review it if it fits. If it fits, if it works, <laughs> if it was good. He'll be here. We'll 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 probably end up yeah. doing it. Not not it may not be talking all three hours of it, but we'll we'll try to hit the high points and maybe we'll just come on and just talk for yeah. a little bit. We'll see what we'll see what it leads to. So hey Zeus, you're happy. Raw reviews will be back for one week, night after mania. It ain't happening every week though. I can't sit through three hours of that garbage. Nope. Um, let me see here. We got some Chris Hero is my choice to ha help run ROH. Chris Hero would be great to bring in. Cesaro is dead. Long live Claudio Castagnoli. DDT, though, yes, AEW has signed a deal with DDT Pro Wrestling. I wonder if that's going to lead into their package plan for uh, what they can do. Yeah, and I don't want to hear nothing about no blow up dials. There's more than just that in DDT, so <laughs> cut it out. Eddie better get his match, E. I put it up on the screen there. You do a super card of honor next week. I don't think so, Jesus, unless by a miracle it could happen. Um, like I said, maybe I'll do an audio only, be subscribed to the podcast. Maybe I'll throw up something like a quick 15 minute just talking about it, maybe 30 minutes. I don't know how long it'll be, but we'll see. I can't promise that I'll do any of the Friday shows before that. Um, A says facts, Rob. Uh, get that breather, drink some water, take a vitamin, and come back for mania. 
no need to. The Forbidden Door is a BS concept anyway. Nothing was stopping these companies from working together before AEW came along. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Right. Adrenaline in my soul. WrestleMania Coded Roads. Maybe he shows up, Derek. Hey. If not, Seth Rollins will be real sad. That's yeah, all yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll get booed out that building. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only forbidden door is based in Connecticut. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Joshi's. Damn it, Conrad. I'm sorry, Jesus. I will do my best to try to cover it, bro. Listen, I'm going to have like four screens on at the same time. Like, right. that be Y'all got to come help me, and I'll do the reviews. Trust me. We'll get back there soon. Uh, thanks for the weekly shows. Keeps me grounded with uh, relocating to another state. Cray, anytime, brother. Appreciate you. Keep up the good work. Raw review. Yuck. Thanks, Sick. <laughs> Sick. Sick just lurking in the chat here. Uh, word, thank you. Seth Rollins working the pre-show, Matt Lopez says. Mm. Here's the thing that doesn't make sense with that. If you want Seth Rollins, if Seth Rollins wanted to be on the car, why didn't he just fight Omas? This is that shit I'm talking about. I sat there and I was like, Omas just said he wants a match, and you need a match. Why don't you just fight him? Right. But I guess they could have been like, well, he already has a match with, with uh, AJ Styles tonight. And... Bullshit. Stop right. it. Just stop it. He could have signed the match now. Exactly. What's stopping you? Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to cover WrestleMania, though. So next week's all WWE. So I don't want to hear none of that. I don't cover WWE shit. I do if it's good or if I have time or if I make the time to cover their big pay-per-views. All right? So show us some love. Um, but for me and this guy... <laughs> The man they call Derek. We are out. One. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes. For the fans, uh, for the fans, uh. Not many in this can understand, uh. This the podcast to show you who I am, uh. Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans. Uh, please listen every day to the showcase. The opinions and knowledge that anyone can take. Showing you how it is done. Proving I am number one. What a legend becomes. This is now my time to show you that I am here. Uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear. Uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many whose hand can understand uh, everything pro wrestling. They can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes.